oh, yeah. at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, um, bless you all for joining us. And I know more people usually arrive in the first 10 minutes. We acknowledge and appreciate you. We acknowledge your commitment to your business and yourself. Um, we're very privileged today to have Luciano joining us. Now, this call, as Gary just said, has been going for over 15 years now with Gary, Diana, and myself. And we're blessed by joining you for this education every single week. So. We're connected, we're inspired, we're led, we're trained, um, and you know, allowing us to be the best we can be in sharing the great mission of Manatech. My favorite saying is that um, people are out there praying for what we have on all levels, and you know, it's our duty, I believe, to be the best we can be in sharing the message. Now, Luciano, I think this is his second time on our Australasian call. Yes. Um, I think we've got Australia and New Zealand covered today. I'm not sure if Singapore is here. Um, but just to give you a little bit of a background, Luciana Fidalgo started in direct sales and network marketing industry in 19, what is it? 87. He has just graduated from the university and wanted from, he wanted something more than just a job. In 2003, he found Manatech and its products. Today, he's a gold presidential with 100,000 plus organization in 20 plus countries. He's a member of the um, Group for North America, a member of the Chairman's Club, and was recognized as the Business Builder of the Year for North America in both 2013 and then just at this past manifest. He's widely, widely respected across Manatech's community. I've had quite a few emails actually from the US saying, oh, you're so lucky to have Luciano, we love him. And he's known to be a man willing to be of assistance to anyone in our great community. So um, Luciano, thank you so much for being here. Um, we're very grateful for your time. Thank you, Sharon, and thank you for the um, invitation. It's an honor actually for me to be here tonight. Ah, uh, thank you. So as, as always best, let's go back to the beginning now. I know that you're connected to our great leader, Al Bala. How, how did you come to be in this great profession and then to be with Manatech? Okay, well, that's, a, that's an interesting story because they actually, for me, um, in this profession, it, it actually all started in 1987. Um, you know, I had, because I was involved long before Manatech. You know, I, I became involved in Manatech in 2003. But prior to that, I, my, my first uh, dabble in the, in the profession was in 1987. Uh, like I said, uh, like you said, I, um, I had just graduated from the university um, and I had been working from May uh, to November. And, uh, you know, every day when I was going to work, I was like, you got to be kidding me. This is it. You know, they have this got to be something better than this. And uh, I went to actually I went to work. Uh, I used to work for my brother and my sister. And my other sister, I have a very large family, you know, there's lots of brothers and sisters. So my, uh, another sister called me that, that day and she said, you know, after you uh, get out of work, come by my house. I have a business opportunity that I think you'd be interested in. I said, fine. So I left work, went to my sister's house and she said, um, she said I, I said to her, I said, so uh, what, what about the business? Tell me about it. She says, well, I just saw it last night. I really didn't understand it, but there's a box on top of the table. If there's a paper in there, if you read it, you, you, you understand the whole thing. So, okay. So I went in, opened this box. Um, they had a, a form there, uh, picked it up, started reading it. I didn't understand a thing other than the more circles you had, the more money you made. <laughs> so, so I said to my sister, I said, well, sign me up. She said, oh, I don't know how to do that. So you have to come back tomorrow. I like, huh? So the reason I tell that story is because look, if you're looking, it doesn't matter what you're shown. You, you know, if you're going to be excited. If you're not looking, it doesn't matter where you're showing, you're not going to be excited, you know. I had no idea what I had just seen. I just knew that, hey, you know, if I can make the money that they were sharing in that uh, paper, it could change my life. So I went back the next day. Uh, the guy came, signed me up. Uh, this was in 1987. And then I went to a real meeting, and I realized that you had to speak to people and you had to sell things. And I was like, no way. By then, I was already in the business. So that's when I met Al Bala in 1987. And we've been working together since 1987 up until now. Uh, he's the guy that actually took me under his wings. Uh, he did meetings for me. He says, look, he says, I'm going to promise you one thing. He says, I'm going to do 95% of the work for you. And I'm going to prove to you that this, that this profession uh, is viable, that it works, that you're not wasting your time. 
So obviously the question was, what's the 5% I have to do? You know, I'm not dumb. If he's going to do 95% of the work, I can do 5%. And the 5% that I had to do was make a list of names of everybody that I know, all my relatives, all my neighbors and friends and people that I went to school with. And he gave me a, some wording that I could invite him to come over my house. And every, every Monday night for the first two, or, I think for the first two and a half months, he came over my house, eight o'clock at night. I had maybe five people, one, 10, 15, two, three, and he was there and I had somebody and he showed the business for me. And that's how I got started. Scared, didn't want to talk to nobody. I actually qualified in that other business at a gold executive level without showing one presentation by myself. Wow. Now, that goes to show you that when you have a great upline, you can do great things in the business. So that's a tip. Make sure that if you're sponsoring people, that you take the responsibility to help them become successful. That's tip number one for tonight. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, in Australasia, there's uh, lots of people who have, you know, connections overseas, um, internationally with their upline. And people, you know, once you get the, the company with the longevity like Manatech, some people come and go and that's just reality. So if you right. don't have upline, um, we're going to endeavor to make sure that we have regular um, business and wellness opportunity calls on this call for you. And they're always recorded. So um, there's always someone that can help you. And, 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 you, and, and not to interrupt you, I'm sorry. That's okay. and, but but the, the, the thing is, you guys have been doing it for 15 years. Congratulations to you and Gary. And I think you said, Diane. And, and, and for the people who, like you said, who they don't have somebody to work with, just plug into what you guys are doing. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. Yeah, and we've got a great archive and and you can come here for validation of other people other than your word. <laughs> but Manatech's worth it for whatever, um, you know, and I'm looking, skim, skimming through the names here and I know most of them. I think there isn't anyone that I haven't recognized and I know we've all been through ups and downs and faced challenges and that's part of the personal development of this um, great commitment to a company and a profession of that's network marketing. Yes. So and, you went to Gold Executive in the other company. Mm -hmm. um, so what, how did you come to be introduced to Manatech? Well, you know, um, long story, but I'm gonna make it really short. In the other company, I was an associate, but I also, uh, when Al Bala became the director of the, you know, the CEO of the other company, uh, I, was, I was sitting at home one night and my phone rang and it was Al and he was calling me from Europe. He says, hey, you know, how's everything? And blah, blah. you know, we had a small talk. Here and he says, you know, I'm coming back to the States. He says, and I'm looking for somebody. Uh, you know, he said, the organization is putting together an international, uh, 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 or, you know, an international organization. And I'm looking for somebody that I can trust that, 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 that can, you know, that can do the work, that can do the job. They have the I say, hey, just count me in. He says, well, I remember you, ever, you told me if you're ever going to do anything international to let you know, I'm, are you interested? I said, yes, I am. So I was traveling a lot, you know, I'm skipping through some of the stories because it's very long, but so I, I, I got hired, I was still an associate and I was, I was also working as in some of the international markets for the, for the organization. And uh, I traveled for, I took that job saying, I'll be here for two years. I ended up staying for 12. Wow. So in that 12 years, I traveled probably close to 2 million miles flying all over the world. And I was, my health started deteriorate, deteriorating. And, uh, and I was in, actually I had just gone to Greece and did a meeting and you know, and everybody comes, everybody's all excited. And you feel like, you know, you can even breathe. You just wanna go to bed because you know how bad I was feeling, you know? And I remember I came home that week and I started searching uh, online for uh, natural, um, natural nutrition, natural food-based products, and I came upon somebody's website that was talking about glyconutrients. Now, I had been involved at that time, probably 15 years in the, in the profession. I had never heard of Manatech. I had never heard of glyconutrients. So needless to say, I was shocked. I was like, wait, I said, these products exist? So I, I read for probably more than two hours. I just read this guy's uh, page. And, you know, he was talking about back then, you know, you could talk about all kinds of testimonies and all the things that we used to do. 
So I was, I was excited. I was like, wow, if these people are telling the truth. This is unbelievable. So he had a capture page. I put in my name and I put in my phone number. Less than a minute later, he called me. So now the second tip, the second tip is make sure when you get a name, call them, follow up, get him started. So less than a minute, my phone rang and he said, hey, my name is such and such. I'm calling you from Oklahoma. Uh, you said you wanted some more information on glyconutrients. I'm just calling to see uh, if you had, you know, what kind of questions can I answer? So, you know, I gave him all the spiel, what I was going through and what I needed, what can he gave me. So he wanted to sell me a thousand dollar pack. I said to him, I said, uh -uh. I said, look, I don't know you. I've never heard of Manatech. I've been involved in the, in the, in the profession for 15 years. How do I know you're not mixing somebody in your garage and you're selling it to people? I said, so I, I know I'm being rude, but I'm not buying anything cost a thousand dollars. So I, I, next question was, what do you have that I can take just to try it? So he says, well, you know, we have a, a pack that's a hundred dollars. I said, now that's one that I could do. And lo and behold, I ordered the, the, the basic pack back then, came in, started taking it. First week, I couldn't believe it. Now, mind you, I was already in another company that, quote unquote, had great nutritional products. So within a week, I was like, wow, this is unbelievable. Now, I had no intentions of leaving where I was because, I mean, I had a good organization on the other side. Um, and I knew, you know, it's very hard for you to move a group to, to as a matter of fact, none of them came. Um, so I, it wasn't my intention to leave the other place and come to Manatech. But after one week and I saw what was happening to my health, and how powerful the products were. I was like, no way. So I called that guy back. I told him who I was, and he didn't, he didn't have a clue what I did, if I had experience, if I ever was in, he didn't, I didn't tell him. So I called him back later, I said, look, I said, the products are incredible. Everything that your website said was correct. Um, I said, you know, um, um, I told him a little bit of my, my experience, who I was. He hung up the phone and said, I'm gonna call you back. And then called me back with somebody else, which is, Tip number three, if you're brand new in the business and you're just getting started, make sure you have a sidekick in your upline who you can call and put on a three-way call with you. So, so he called me with, and with somebody else uh, you know, on a three-way call. And, uh, and then we started talking and I got upgraded to the thousand dollar pack because I was going back to Europe. And I said, there's no way I'm going back to Europe without these products. So that's how I actually got involved in Manifest. Wow. And then by memory, um, you met, um, oh my goodness. It's, my mind's just gone, my mind's just gone black. So how did you go from there at Luciano? Well, so, so then my, my first, um, my, my, what I wanted to do first was now that I know the product works, and I was calling the guy who signed me up and I would say, hey, listen, I want to know the business plan. Send me something that shows me how this business works. Because now I'm, th I'm thinking, look, if this product works this well, I have tons of family members that, that need it. I said, but I'm a business guy, so I want to know if I'm going to go share this with people, you know, how, how does the plan work? He couldn't, he couldn't tell me for six months. He said, no, well, we don't really have a business. We don't show a business. This is not a business. It's a pro you know, they call it all kind of stuff. And I'm thinking, oh, my goodness. You know? So, so then finally, after my six months in the business, um, they put something together where they could actually show you, you know, if you get this person here involved. And, you know, and then they, they, I was like, okay. So, so then I started calling Al Bala. I said, Al, I'm telling you, man, I found a company that the product is unbelievable. And you don't have to do most of the things that you do in a network marketing direct sales company. He goes, yeah, right. He says, ah, yeah, sure. He goes, yeah, that doesn't exist. So two, it took me two years to convince him to come to Manitech. You know? Wow. Then when he came to Manitech, he goes, you know, he says, it was a very good, smart, good, smart, good decision. He said, but boy, are these people confused. <laughs> <laughs> remember, way back when, how we used to build the business yeah. is way very different than, than the way we build the business today, you know? So, but I'm very glad, I'm obviously I'm very happy because I know his character. I know the person that he is. I know mm -hmm. his heart. And I know that he would never go out to do anything that would jeopardize our business as a CEO yeah. of the company. So, yeah. you know, I know that for a fact. So, uh, yeah, so, th so that's how I got started, you know, and, uh, and then I just started sharing with people. Um, you know, now by that, by when I found Manatech, I mean, I, I pretty much, 
I didn't need somebody to help me like I did when yeah. I first getting started. You know, I was over my fears of selling, fears of speaking, all that stuff. And uh, so the next thing I did is I went to a manifest, which is our international yearly convention. So now I wanted to go see if the science was for real. And I wanted to go see if, you know, who was involved? What kind of people were, you know, what, what's the cultural, uh, the culture of the organization? And I remember that's when I met the, the, at that time the founder of the company. And he was like the most humble person I've ever met. And he's this guy, you know, creating this massive business. And I just, I'm doing like a hundred dollars a month of business. And he, st he stood there and spoke to me for 45 minutes. I was like, and I'm trying to leave because I felt bad because I don't want to take all his time. And he was like, no, 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 no. I was like, wow. You know, so here I am 16 years later. Yeah, great man, great man. So we owe you a debt of gratitude, Luciano, bringing Al to our great company. I have massive admiration for him. He's a great guy. He's a great and guy. then I think you're also instrumental in connecting him with his wife, Johanna. That is true, but, I, but that was the first and the last. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna yeah, start no, Johanna and I, we, we knew each other probably for 20 years. And, and, you know, and I, I know that Al was, uh, Al was like, well, you know, we're still, I was talking to him. And then to this day, I really don't know how I even found Johanna because I hadn't seen Johanna for years, but I knew that she had some major issues in, with her health. And, and one day, I, uh, for some reason, something just, I don't know, out of the blue, I said, you know, I need to find her. And I'm telling you, when I found her, she was down and out. Um, she was barely making it. Um, and, uh, you know, and um, I remember, um, you know, she couldn't afford the products. So, so you know, it, it was, and I didn't go there for her to go build a business. I just knew that she needed it for her health, you know. So it wasn't anything to do with the business at all. Uh, to the point where I just gave her the products probably for the first two or three months. And, uh, and then, um, and, you know, and then we were talking and I said to LA, I got somebody that you might want to meet. And I, you know, they, they met and they got married and that's, you know, that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we have a, a great um, global empire with some fantastic leaders. And so, yeah. Luciana, what was, you know, um, obviously everybody coming into a network marketing business, sometimes we come in, we come with all kinds of life skills and to have a direct, you know, obviously experience of having your learning curve in another company. What was your journey to presidential and beyond life in Manatech? Well, you know, that's a great question. Um, and, and that's not, you know, that's not, not just me coming from another company, but that's just anybody who has success, who comes into a network marketing uh, um, program. You know, you have to humble yourself. You know, I mean, I could, I could have came and said, well, you guys, a bunch of, you know, know nothings. You don't even have a business presentation. I can't believe this. I, you, I didn't do that at all. You know, yeah. I just took all the guy and said, look, you know way more than I do. I said, I don't know nothing about Manatech. I don't know nothing about the science. I don't know a thing about glycobiology or, you know, gly nothing. I don't know about gly glyconutrients, nothing. I said, I know how to build a business, but the culture is different here. So I said, I want to know how you guys do it here. So, you know, I mean, I, 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 I just became a sponge. Uh, there were some, a few websites that, that they had back then. I remember I used to go to work and, and maybe I'd go out and share with people and come back home and stay up until one, two, three o'clock sometimes on the week and watching this video and learning all these things that were on that site. But I wanted to learn it um, because I didn't want somebody to babysit me now anymore. You know, I'm not in the babysit stage anymore, you know. So sometimes, you know, even, even when you get somebody who's a, a high professional who comes into the business, they need to, you know, they, it's much easier if you humble yourself and say, look, I've had major success in this area, but I don't know nothing about what you guys are doing. I'm all open. You tell me what I need to do and I'll go do it. That's my attitude even today. Mm -hmm. You know, even today, if I'm around somebody who's got a way bigger business than I do and there's lots of people who got way bigger business than I do, or sometimes they don't even have a business as big as I do, but, you know, I listen because I'm learning all the time. And that's just my attitude, you know? Mm. That's like a servant's heart in a way, isn't it? And a humble heart. Well, yeah, and somebody also who's pretty smart, they want to make some money and grow their business. <laughs> 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 exactly because the more well anyway that that's something that's really important to me as well that that 
deep, authentic listening to other people. It's, it's, it enriches one's lives, no matter what the, the discussion or the conversation is about. Absolutely. So Luciano, um, there's people here hungry to be the best they can be in their business. How do you get new people started into your organization? Well, let me, can I just touch a little bit on the best that you can be first? Because, sure. because that, was one of, that was one of my biggest problem area, if I need to say problem area, you know. I, I needed to get that straight myself, personally. So, so for, for me to become the best person I could be, I had to change myself. Now, now, now I tell you a story. Look, I, I came in Manatech. I was pretty gung-ho. Went through all the way to Bronze Presidential. And then, you know, life happens and things just kind of went sideways, sideways for a while. And I got stuck at Bronze Presidential for a while. And it wasn't Manatech's fault. It wasn't the products. It wasn't my downline. It wasn't my upline. It wasn't my crossline. It was just my head. Hmm. So, so I had to change my attitude. I had to change my thought process. I had to change my mindset for me to move my business from branch, branch presidential to where it is today, you know? And, and I had to just one day wake up in the morning, slap myself in the head, look in the mirror and say, hey, what are you doing? And I literally did that. And, and I, I remember very clearly it was in, uh, it was in October and, and I made a decision that Jan, come January, I'm going to be a brand new person. My mindset is going to be different. My thought process is going to be different. My attitude is going to be different. And this is at bronze presidential. And by the way, if you're going to get stuck, get stuck at bronze presidential, <laughs> you know, better than, you know, <laughs> silver executive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so I made a decision that I was going to read three books, one in October, one in November, one in December. Because I don't know everything. You know, I've been around for 30, this is my 32nd year in this profession. I still don't know everything. But one thing I know is if you're going to change your mindset, you better go read some, some books that will help you do that, you know, or listen to some uh, CDs that will help you do that. So I decided I was going to go back and read uh, thinking, uh, The Magic of Thinking Big first, uh, Thinking Grow Rich second, and then I was in a bookstore and I was, you know, I, I was in a bookstore. I was reading Thinking Grow Rich and I was, I was thinking, okay, December, I have to really go find something that, that is really going to be like unbelievable. And I was in a bookstore and I was looking around and I found a book that I wasn't even looking. I mean, you know, I don't believe in coincidences, you know, things happen for a reason. So, so I'm looking at this book and this book says Battlefield of the Mind. And I'm like, Bing! I'm like, this is the, you know, I, I obviously I knew who Joyce Myers was because I listened to her a lot. But when I saw the book, I'm thinking, Battlefield of the Mind, this is exactly what I'm going through. So I bought, I bought that book. I read it in January, I mean, in December. So come January, I, I pretty much was a new person, you know, and I, I, and I knew and I knew that, I, that that's going to happen, that my business is going to you know, go from bronze all the way to platinum and plus, and, and that's where we're working now. You know, mm. but, but I had to make that decision to become a better me. Mm. So that's how I did it to, you know, because you said, you know, when you said be, you know, become a better, you're like, oh, okay, well, so, but then how do I get my pe people in my organization started? Well, you know, the, the first thing that I do when I get somebody who, uh, first of all, I distinguish if they, if they just want to be product users or if they want to be a business builder, uh, I do both. You know, there's people that say, ah, oh, you know, you're just a business. I'm not. The reason I came is because of the power of the products, you know? But I'm also smart to know that some people, uh, they don't want to be building a business, they just want to buy the products. And I know some people just want to build a business and they know we got great products, that we have excellent products. So, so I do both things. So if somebody is just saying to me that, hey, listen, they have any kind of health issues, I'm going with the products, I'm going to put them on the products, I'm going to let them try it, I'm going to follow up with them. Uh, the first couple of weeks, I'm going to follow up with them, make sure they're taking it right. If, they, if there is anything that I need to answer, and I'm, I'm going to let them take it. You know, I'm going to let them know it's guaranteed and, you know, they don't have to worry. They're not going to lose their money. And then when they, and, and, you know, and I haven't had one person that came back to me and said, oh, what a junk kind of product you are selling. I mean, 16 years, I've ne I had one. And I imagine this, the power of our products. I've been involved for 16 years. We have a six months guarantee. I had one person to ever return a product one time. That goes to say a lot about the power of our products. So, so when, when it happens that way, I put them in there. I let them go use the products. And then when I see they're excited about the products and they re then I can tell them, look, if you want to know how to get these products for free, let me know, I'll show you. Simple. On the other side, when I have somebody who says, look, 
I want to build a business because I want to change my, the finances of my family. I want to create a legacy. I want some residual income. I want financial freedom. I want time freedom. That's all different ballgame. Because the first thing I do with them is I want to know why they want to build a business. I, if I don't know why they want to build a business, I can't help them. Mm. I, can't cre- I can't create a, a working plan to help them work their business. Because you can't, in my opinion, in my opinion, um, you can't build a business trying to help somebody to get to a place where you don't know where they're trying to get to. You know what I mean? I know that came out a little, you know, a lot of, a lot of words in there, but I like to know if I'm talking to Sharon, I want to know, Sharon, why is it that you are getting involved in Manatech at this particular time in your life? Mm. Now, everybody's going to be different. Somebody might say, look, I, I just want to make an extra $500. Fantastic. I am, am going to sit. I'm going to show you how we're going to be able to do that. As a matter of fact, we're going to be able to do that maybe in the next two or three months. You know? So I'm not trying to push anybody into what I'm looking for. I'm pushing them into what they're looking for. I'm a solution provider. I'm going to solve your problem. So I'm not interested in solving my problem because if I can help you solve your problem, I can solve my problem automatically. <laughs> right? Yeah. So if you say to me, I'm, I'm interested in making an extra $500 a month, man, we're going to sit, I'm going to show you. Boom, 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 boom. If you say to me, I want to make, I wanna make an extra $5,000 a month, I'm going to ask you why. Because then you're going to tell me why you are willing to work as hard as you're going to work to make that money. Because I want you to remember when you start building your business and you're going to get into some ups and downs in your business and you know, you're going to go talk to your best friend and you're going to be all gung ho about your business and you're going to tell them everything that you know and they're going to tell you exactly what they told me. Oh, one guy who <laughs> said to me, you know, you went to the university usually when people come out of the university, they come out smarter. What happened to you? <laughs> That's him telling me how stupid I was because I was building the network marketing business. <laughs> so, so if you don't know why you're building the business, anytime somebody says something like that to you, it creates doubt. And you don't want doubt. You know? so, but if I know why you're building the business, when the doubt creeps in, I'm going to be able to tell you, hey, Sharon, remember when we talked? This is the reason that you're building the business. So never mind all the other stuff. That's going to happen whether you're building the business or you have a job or whatever, you know? So let's just concentrate on getting you that particular thing that you are building the business for. So for me, that's number one. Because if I know what they want, then we can sit and then I can tell them. I say, look, I just want to make sure that you understand this is a real business. I said, this is, you know, I, I now give them a little example of my personal business. I said, look, you know, I started my business for, $49 when I, when I got, or $99 when I got started in 2003. And my business today is, you know, does millions of dollars a year. I said, I'm not telling you that because, you know, I'm anything big or anything special. I'm just telling you that so you can see what we can create if we really want to do that. Because I want them to see a big vision. I want to create a big, a big vision for them. Some people, they, they try to build a business with the least friction. Maybe that's not the right word, but the, the, or at least, you know, oh, people can't sponsor four or five or six, seven people. So let's tell them they can sponsor two. No, I don't build business that way. Because if you, if you, if you, if you're going to go platinum in this business, guess how you're going to get there? You need four presidential eight. They don't have to be presidential, but you need the volume plus the, 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 the goal directors, you know? So if that's how we're going to get there, why am I going to wait to go tell them that after, after they start at six months? And I'm going to tell you from the beginning, this is exactly where we're going. Now, how we get there is going to be a plan that we're going to be working between you and I based on your time and your commitment and all that stuff. But I'm going to give you the big vision, and then I'm going to tell you how – I'm going to let you tell me what your time constraint is and what we can work and make it work for you. you know? the, the, the thing I see a lot is – People get scared if they tell people the truth when they, when they get to start to build their business. And they try to, you know, oh, well, you know, let's not tell them about automatic order right now because if you tell them, they're not going to get in. Guess what? If they're not going to get in when you tell them about automatic order, they're going to get in. They're not going to do anything anyways. So why waste your time? So that, that has always been my attitude, you know? So, so, so when I'm getting people started, I'm telling them, I say, look, this is the reason. Okay, I want to know the reason that you're getting started. Then this, if you want to be successful, this is what I'm going to promise you. 
I'm going to promise you that I'm going to do everything in my power to help you become successful. But you need to tell me that you're going to do everything in your power for you to become successful too. Because both of us have to be working and I'm going to use my experience. I'm going to probably use my money. I'm going to use my, uh, you, know, uh, you, you know, time investment, uh, financial investment. I'm going to drive the miles. And, you know, I, I live in Orlando, so sometimes if I'm driving to Miami or Jacksonville or Tampa, it's like two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours. So I'm going to tell them all these things. I said, so I'm serious about helping you. I just want to make sure that you're serious about helping yourself. So we're, we're having a real conversation, you yeah. know. So I'm not looking for little whiners because if they're little whiners, I want to put them, go, go, go use the products and then see that the products work. Let's come back and talk. I don't say it exactly that way, but, you know. Yeah. But so, so because I'm serious. And, and think about your business. I heard, I heard somebody say a long time ago, um, if you want to become, uh, if, you, if the goal is to be a platinum presidential, you need four people, right? So they said, think of those four people as you starting a multi-billion dollar company and you're looking for four board members. How would you talk to those people when you're interviewing them? And what would you say to them? So I still use that as I talk to people today. Mm. Yeah. So, so, so I tell people, look, it's not going to be easy. We're going to be working, but I'm telling you, it's going to be all worth it. It's going to be so worth it for you and your family and the legacy that you're going to be able to build. But we're going to be working for a very short period of time. You know, I said, I said, and I compare, I said, look, I said, if you are in the 40 year plan where you're working for 40 years, 45 years, 50 years before you, you retire, that is a very long plan. I said, now, when you retire, are you going to make less money or more money? Now, I don't know about New Zealand and Australia and Singapore. Every other country, they make way less money when they're retiring than they make when they work. Okay? Same here. So I said to them, I said, now look, so let's say it takes you five hours for you and I to work together where you can get to make, you know, a, a place where you're making 3000 4000 $5,000, $10,000 a month. I said, will it have been worth it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, then. Let's put a plan together. Let's work. But Sharon, today it's so much easier because look what we're doing. You guys are in Australia. You guys are in New Zealand. People are in Singapore. I'm sitting right here in cold Boston, Massachusetts in May. <laughs> and we're having a conversation. It's incredible. And you guys have unbelievable leaders already. Mm -hmm. you, know? you guys that are here plus all the, 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 the pres other presidential that are in the, in, the, in the Australia region. I mean, you guys, I mean, we, I, I, I've been getting... I'm, di I'm digressing a little bit, but I've been getting uh, some calls from my people in Europe this week because, you know, Naomi is there doing uh, meetings. And I'm getting all kinds of, so, you know, all kinds of nice compliments and all the job that, she, the job that she's doing there and all this. So, you know, I mean, you guys, you know, the, the new people that are coming, they're coming into some real unbelievable leadership with you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Couldn't agree more. That's fantastic. So, <clears throat> those partnerships that you're building start from the very beginning. And like you've said, I mean, I just love Zoom. I was a bit of a dinosaur and a bit resistant because we had something that was working already. <laughs> and now I have to get dressed before the early call on Saturday morning. <laughs> but it's added such a beautiful element. Like it, it adds such depth and breadth to the ability to really commit and feel, I mean, you can feel the authentic authenticity in someone in their voice, obviously. But adds a whole other element to be able to <clears throat> see each other and connect that way. And so I know from your story, you started with Al quite locally so that you guys, you had someone coming to your house every week. That's not possible for everyone. It's definitely not possible for me. I live in a sort of a regional area of Australia. And mm. so I find the ability to come into someone's house in, with this vehicle very powerful. And I, I imagine that's the same for you internationally. Oh, absolutely. And look, there are tools that we have today that are made for this industry, made for this profession. Made, it, it's, it's so, you know, it, I mean, it, it fits just Magic, like glove, it, yeah. hand in glove, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I, when I was starting in 87, I used to go find, if, if I had somebody who was interested, I lived in Boston, so if I had somebody who was interested in California, I had to go <laughs> buy an envelope, stuff the envelope, go to the post office, send the envelope, wait like a week before they get the thing, you know, and then call them and make sure they got, I mean, all kind of crazy things. And you never got your stuff back because nobody ever mailed it back to you. Mm. Yeah. And right now, the, the group that I actually uh, started in Spain, 
um, we did it all through through webinars. And then, you know, I, and I said to them, I said, look, if you guys are serious, I'm serious. But if you guys are not serious, I'm not going to Spain. I said, so you show me that you guys are serious, we'll do something. And they did. And today, they, you know, presidential. So, mm. The tools are well done. And what a service that is, you know, for people that have that goal to change their life. Mm. <clears throat> Look, I, I've looked at, you know, I, I've, I come from a very large family. Um, there's 60, I have 16 brothers and sisters. Wow. Uh, lots of them, and I'm the second uh, youngest one. So everybody else is way ahead of me. And, and many of them have traditional businesses, you know, uh, most of them in Boston. So, so, and I'm here now, so I get to go and, and, and mess around with them during the day while they, they're in there. And I can tell you, um, from all the years that I've been involved in, in our profession and, 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 and looking at it and comparing it to a traditional business, I wouldn't, all, you know, and I have cousins and lots of them too. And, and some of them have to, I would, they could put all their businesses together I wouldn't trade in my magnetic business to all the businesses. And, and you know, we're talking about restaurants and supermarkets and traveling. I mean, we're talking about a lot of different, I wouldn't trade it. Because the lifestyle that you can create building residual income is second to none. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. It is unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, I've been blessed think, as well. Think, think, about it, think about it. You know, you could, get, you could get started for $50, $100, no inventory, no, you know, employees, payroll, yeah. no payroll, no locations, you know, and you don't have to worry about paying insurance, light bills, nothing. And you can create a legacy that can go for generations. How much more powerful can you get when you talk about what, you know, an option? Absolutely. So one of the other things I wanted to focus on today is tips for success, which you've been doing since the beginning. So I think you've shared four already. Is there anything um, that comes to mind that you'd like to highlight? Well, you know, I think um, what, what, one of the things that I've learned, uh, and let me look, and it took me a long time to learn, and I like to share this with, with people because um, a lot of people also are in the same boat. Um, I, I, I very, it wasn't very early on because I didn't, you know, I, like I said, I had to learn a whole lot of things when I was getting started. You know, when I started maturing as a leader, I realized that, you know, you're going to have to figure out how to separate the doers from the talkers. And I know it sounds rad, you know, rough sometimes, but, but you know, you, I have people in my organization now, I mean, even now, that they'll call and they want to talk to you for two or three hours in, without stopping. And, and, and because some of them are friends and because some of them are in your organization and because they've been around for a long time, so you feel really, really bad. Well, so you sit there and you listen and you, you know, you just had three hours of your life gone and, 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 and they've been doing that for years after years after years and, but nothing happened. And they complain about this and they complain about that. I know you guys don't have this in there. So, but I'm, that I know we have it here. here. So, yeah. I know it doesn't happen there. So I'm just kind of just, <laughs> we just have some minutes to kill. So I'm just going to talk about that, you know? <laughs> so, so, you know, you have to, to recognize that. And, 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 you know, and I, and I, and even today, that's like really rough for me because I mean, I, you know, I mean, I'm friends with everybody, but sometimes you have to make the, you have to make you a priority in terms of how important is your time? Because if you don't, and you have a large organization, you're going to spend half of your, half of your, maybe more than half of your day, think very busy managing, managing thinking that you're actually growing and building your business. But at the end of the day, you're not doing anything to grow and build your business. And what is, this is tip number five. What's the two things that you can do to grow your business? Contacting and showing the plan. That's it. Because if you're not talking to new people, if you're not contacting new people so you can go sit and talk to them, well, good luck growing your business. I mean, unless you're doing it through social media, that's also contacting. You know? But I'm talking about you need to have new eyeballs looking at your business or your products on a regular basis. So when people say, well, you know, what, what else? No, no, those are the two things that you can measure, actually. Because you can measure how many people you can meet every day. You can measure that because you, it's just you going out and meeting somebody. You know? It's you putting yourself out there. And, and you know, when, 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 when I, you know, like I'm a, I build a business full time. So it is a chore to try to get out of my house. Just go meet somebody. So what I do is I go out and just do normal things that everybody does. I might go to the cleaners or to the bank or whatever, 
but oh, you know, I never order in. I, I've been living in Florida for 25 years. I don't remember the last time I actually had somebody deliver food in my house. Because I want to go out, you know. So I make it a point to put myself out there where people are because nobody's going to come to your house and, I'm here, I want to see your network marketing business. That's not happening. <laughs> Maybe it happened to some of you guys, but it hasn't happened to me in, in, in all these years. So, so you, you have to put yourself out there to make sure that you're meeting the people that, that can help you and create new momentum. You know? Because you can only create momentum with new people. So, so going back to what I was saying earlier, you have, you have to be cognizant and you have to watch out for those people that are just going to be time wasters. Yeah. And, and you got to find a nice way of telling them, oh, I got to go. I got a meeting starting in five minutes and I got to get ready. Mm. You know? yeah. so, so that's one of the things that I've learned. And, and you know what? I, I implemented in my business a lot because if you don't, you're going to spend most of your day doing things that are not going to be uh, things that will grow your business. You know, so. Perfect. Perfect. And um, in showing the plan or the products, do you do three ways or webinars or napkin presentations or what do you recommend? I do everything. See, see, the way I look at the business is we have a toolbox. And all those things that you just talked about are all part of your toolbox. It's like if you're a carpenter, you don't just have a hammer. You know, you have a hammer, you have a, you know, all, nails, you have a scale. You're not going to use all of them all the time. But you're going to take, if you, know, if you need to put a picture on the wall, you're going to use your hammer and your nail or, 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 or a picture hanger or something. So I looked at our business as we have all these tools and, and, and I'm going to use those tools whenever I think it's adequate for me to use those tools. And it's very, you know, so, so it's simple. So I'm not, I don't try to doctrinate, oh, this is the only way that you're going to build the business. And if you're not showing this, if you're not doing that, you're doing it. No. That's like somebody says to me, well, how do you prospect? I don't know. I mean, it depends on the situation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, you prospect. I mean, if somebody says to me, oh, I, I was at uh, Costco and, and I'm looking at some dried ginger, sliced dried ginger, and these three ladies came in and, they, and they're looking at something. So they said to me, they said, oh, it looks like you go to the gym. Maybe we should ask you some questions about, you know. So she, and then she, they looked at me and said, what is that? And I, I like to joke around a lot. I said, oh, this is dry ginger. She says, what do you use that for? Oh, I, I, use, I put this on my tequila. They're like, ah. I said, no, 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 this is for tea. You know? <laughs> so you have to have some fun when you meet new people so they don't think you're like, oh. You know? yeah. so, so then we got to talking, and these three ladies actually give me their email address so I can send them information on the, uh, the OSP pack that we have. You know? So I don't have a script for that. I can't tell you, well, you know, Sharon, when you go and you meet these three ladies, there's no script for that. It's just you being fluid in your, in, in your personality and just being open to just having a conversation with somebody. You know, Bo Alex, I'm sure you guys know who Bo is. You know, he's, he's, you know, he's a good friend of mine. We've been, I've known him for over 20 some odd years too. And, uh, and he came to Orlando to, to some, some convention that he, that they, he had with some, some, um, some um, software that he's using. And uh, so we went to a, uh, a restaurant. So we're sitting at the, at the bar restaurant <laughs> And, and we, we, we get in a little chat, you know, with the, with the bartender. He says, so what are you guys here for? So, oh, this is my friend from Sweden, but, you know, don't pay him any mind. You know? and, and, you know, and then we started laughing. And he says, so what do you guys do? So, well, you know, so he said to the guy, well, we're business partners. And the guy says to him, really? Is it anything that I could be interested maybe in being business partner? With you guys? So if you're just having a conversation, <laughs> yeah. people are going to talk to you. Yeah. You know? So, you have so. To put a good word in for us with Bo, because. I have to get him when he's traveling because it's such a terrible time change <laughs> for Australia. <laughs> We'd love to have him back again. Yeah, no, he's great. He's great. So, so you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's learning the skills. So, so those are, 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 are your skill sets that you have to become good at. So you don't only have one way of doing things, but you have multiple ways of doing things. And depending on the situation, you just take them out of your toolbox. Yeah. That's fantastic advice. And um, I know that with our new compensation plan in Manatech the last few years, it's a whole new world. And there's integrating a new culture in regards to ranking up. And that's mm -hmm. new for some people in Manatech. Um, but with the multiple levels we've got now, it, it's quite 
an intelligent idea to have always be focused on the next one because it's quite close now. It doesn't have to be like in the old days going from what is now gold executive to presidential was like a marathon for that some people. A, for me, it was. That was a, well, that was for everybody because that was a long ways away from 20,000 to 60,000. That mm. That's like, yeah. yeah. So I'm with you on this, Sharon. Um, you know, I, I, I really do like the, all the, the different levels now. Uh, it, because it's all reachable, uh, it's all attainable, you know? Yeah. The, you know, if somebody says to me, well, I don't think I can go from zero to 100 or I, from zero to 500 and you can do it with your uh, volume and customer's volume, I'm going to look at you and say, you're not serious about building the business. It's simple. You know, and that's the way I look at it because, look, if I went through everything that I went through in this profession to build a business, I can't even stand here and nobody's excuse her. <laughs> Look, let me tell you something. The first meeting that they told me I had to do because my business was growing, it was a business meeting that was an hour and 45 minutes long back then. And it was all planned and I knew exactly the steps and I went to do the meeting and I was scared. It was the worst week of my life. I still remember it. And, and I'm like, God, it was in the winter. I said, if there's a day that we need snow, today is it, because I really don't want to do this meeting. The place was packed. A lot of people were there. And I got on stage. The guy introduced me, got on stage, started talking. It was less than five minutes. I forgot everything that I was supposed to say. So I just walked off. I just walked off the stage. <laughs> that was, and, and look, so I went through so many things like that in building my business that, that for me, whenever people say, well, I don't know about this. I'm like, then you don't really want to do it. You, it's not important enough. Maybe I know that's that's rough, but you know that's how I look at it. Because yeah. for the things that I went through to to put myself in the position to have the things that I have today, it's, it wasn't just like oh, you know, it was huge. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, and go, going to get recognized and you forgot your last name because you were so scared to tell to go talk on, in the public. Those kind of things. So. So, you know, I've been there, done that. And if you, if you are willing, you can, you know, you, if, if you just have the, 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 the desire to be successful, it'll work for you. Just find somebody that you can work with or a group that you can work together and go for it. Yeah. It's, um, there's a lot of overcoming to experiences in there, but it's so worth it. Absolutely. I, I wouldn't trade all those crazy things that happened to me. And trust me, I can tell you for days of stuff that happened to me. <laughs> All those things that has happened to me in the last 32 years, I wouldn't trade them for, I wouldn't trade them for nothing, you know, because yeah. they made me the person that I am today. And let yeah. me tell you, and the reason I tell you these stories and all the people that are here, the reason I'm sharing those things is because I want you guys to know, you don't have to be perfect to build a business. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be well-spoken. I'm sure you guys are listening to me. Like, oh, if this guy can do this. Oh. That's the idea. I want you guys to say that, you know, because, you know, people think, oh, I'm not going to show the plan until I can make the perfect circle. Are you kidding me? My circle used to be like uh, all over the place, you know? <laughs> so as long as you're doing something, something good will happen. Look at my sister. My sister didn't know what she was doing. She couldn't even show me the plan. She's going to read from the box. But she was doing something. And something came out of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. That's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, you can't lose the people that are really looking and right for no matter how. If they're looking, they're looking. And even if you're not, you don't have to be perfect. But there's one thing though that you have to be, and this is tip number six. You, if you're building the business, you have to be full in. Your belief level has to be full in. If your belief level is not full in yet, make sure you're working with your upline or, or, or somebody that you're working with whose belief level is full in. Because when my belief level was not that developed, well developed yet, meaning I didn't believe in what I was doing, I had El Bala who really believed in what he was doing. So yeah. he helped me to make that transition. So, and I know like you were saying earlier, you know, there's a lot of people who's uplines all over the place. Look, this is a great place to bring somebody and, and, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and just say, hey, listen, watch, look at the organization, look at the family, look at the, the, the tribe that we're working with. Look at what we're putting together. You know, mm -hmm. Not only are we, are, we, are we creating, helping people create better health, better finances, but you know, we're helping children all over the world. We just had Manifest uh, what, in April. We did over 100,000 serve packing. I don't know if you guys saw that on Facebook, but we were all packing. I mean, it's like 
How can you not be excited about what it is that we do and knowing that kids are benefiting all over the world? Yes, Sarah's presentation at Manifest was just outstanding, wasn't it? What a, yeah. what a heart so, that woman had. So your belief level, this is a big, huge tip. When you're speaking to people, your conviction, your belief level has to come out. Because if you're, sp if you're speaking to people and you sound like you doubt what you're saying or, or you're not sure about what you're saying, people will pick up on it. And if they pick up on it, you're done. You know? but I, 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 I always, I, I, and again, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I, I've always, I, my goal was, I don't care how bad my day was. I don't care what I went through. I don't care what kind of argument I had with whoever. But if I'm in a meeting, back then we didn't have webinars, it was a hotel meetings or home meetings. I had the, mo the best attitude, the most positive, you know, comments I, I, and that was my goal and i make sure that that was the place where it was my job to make sure that i made other new people that were there to feel good that when they see what we were building that they wanted to come back again no matter what was happening to me personally yeah that's fantastic luciano and um i was just going to go talking about mana taking to the next um next 25. Mm -hmm. is there anything that you want to cover before we move on to that well you know, um, I can tell you, I can't tell you details, you know, because, <laughs> you know, they make us, they make us sign these non-disclosure thingies, you know, and because we're a public company, but, you know, I'm part of the, what they call the, um, the North American Strate Strategic and Planning Committee. And the only thing I can tell you is <laughs> just hold on and watch what's going to happen in, between now and the end of the year in terms of systems, in terms of lead generations, in terms of new products, in terms of training. And this is global, not just North yeah. America. I'm so it, grateful it, for the global push right now. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, and especially if you're new and you are listening, you couldn't have picked a better time to get started in your business. Because I'm telling you, we have a group of 10 people. And you know, I, I'm, I've been on other committees before. Um, and let me tell you, we, this is the first time that we have 10 people that we all have the same agenda to grow our business and grow the company or maybe to grow the company and grow our business. And, and it's almost like, you know, I mean, it's just like the, everybody's like in tune with everything that's happening. So, so when you say next 25, boy, it's going to be good because, you know, we see, I believe that, that systems build your business. Remember the toolbox? Systems are your toolbox yeah. and, 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 and showing the plan and, and doing napkin presentation and, and doing, you know, uh, PowerPoint presentation. See, all those things are part of a system, uh, a video, a video link, a follow up video, uh, you know, again. Uh, so those are the stuff that we're working on. We, we, we creating a system that will be able to build a business for you. And you just have to pl click, plug, click press click press that's the idea so wow next 25 is gonna be exciting oh that's very good that's something <laughs> i've been asking for about 15 years that's well, fantastic but that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh fantastic so luciano i know you know you're such a heartfelt man what's in your heart to leave people um today that are you know be today and people watching into the future that are aspiring to be the best they can be in their partnership with manatech well First of all, I mean, I wish I had a wand, you know, that you could just go and, and make everybody just like, there's a I light. One here. They, they, they say there's a light that comes on and you don't really know when that light comes. That's why we tell everybody, look, you want to be at all the events, you want to be at all the conventions, you want to go to all the super regions. Because there's a light that comes on. I really can't tell you when that light comes on. But I know uh, for me, it came on because I couldn't stand getting up early in the morning with an alarm clock. And I, even though I used to work for my brothers and sisters, I hated having a boss. So that, that light was pretty strong when I, when I was getting started, you know. But what, what, what I can tell the new person that is starting today, and they, or maybe they're even looking at the, the, the opportunity, is, 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 is this question. What do you really have to lose and what do you really have to gain? So let's say that 50% let's say that 50 of, of what I'm telling you is the truth and the other 50% is a lie. Can you imagine? I, I, that's what I was thinking when I went and this guy was saying, well, you know, you can do all these things. I'm thinking, man, even if this guy is a liar and he's only telling 50% truth, 
I would still be way better off doing this than anything else. You know? But the thing is, it's not 50% is true. Than 50, it's actually 100% of it is true. And, and, and look, the biggest thing that I can tell you is this. And it's, if, you, if you're a brand new person, you're looking at it, you're just getting started, is this. Whoever is getting you started, whoever you're working with, just go have a coffee and have a heart-to-heart with them. Let them know why you're getting started and then tell them, I want you to help me put a plan together to get to my goals. That is, that is the thing that stops the most people because, you know, and again, we'll go back to people who maybe they're not business owners. They are like I, most people who, who, who become part of an, a, a, a network marketing program, they're not really, most of us aren't business minded people. We just have jobs. We just want to get rid of our jobs. So our mindset has to shift because, because see, you're coming from a job mentality to a business owner mentality. The thought process is not the same. Mm-hmm. So for new people, that's some of the things that they have to realize and say, wow, oh, you know, I need to make sure that now I, I start thinking when I get out of my work and start building my business, I need to start thinking like a business owner because the way you think like a, uh, what you think uh, being a business owner and what you think being an employee is totally different. So, you know, that, if you can do that, even, I mean, it'll go faster. Fantastic. So Luciano, um, thank you so very much. Um, I know that I'm getting lots of gratitude in the comments. People are standing at sporting, sporting fields and saying, I'm glad I didn't, you know, I stretched and I'm listening, multitasking and listening and watching. So um, God bless you. Thank you so very much. Well, God bless you too, Sharon. And thank yeah. you again for the invitation. It's an honor and a privilege. And, and listen, guys, thank you for listening. Uh, it's been a real honor, a real privilege. And uh, for me, I don't take this lightly because I know, uh, you know, especially when I'm talking to people who are not part of my organization, I always want to say some, I, want, I always want to say this. Look, if I've said anything that you're hearing for the first time, make sure you check with the person that you're working with because I don't want to create any confusion, you know. And let's all go platinum presidential. Thanks again. And, uh, Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you too. You. Ladies and gentlemen, talk to you next week. I'm not quite sure who I'm going to trap next week. <laughs> we'll find someone. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Luciana.